on the central piece of real estate in the world, the Temple Mount, which could bring about an entire world war. On that is a dome, and on the dome it's written, God has no son. The very existence of that dome and that statement is, an, is a statement of defiance. Defiance. This is called the Desert Warrior Creed. And this is just going to, there's so much, it's going to be part one here because there's so much here. But we're going to talk tonight about an important subject, which is Islam. And how does this relate? And what does the Bible say about it? Does it, is there actually a key in the Bible that actually opens the whole thing up? Leaders were quick to say that, well, Islam is, it's the, what happened in terrorism is not about Islam. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's a peaceful religion. Well, not exactly. Now note, the majority of people who call themselves Muslim in America are born into it just like people are born Catholic and Protestant and Hindu and they just want to live their lives and we are to love them and pray for them and share with them the love of God. And there are many who are coming to the Lord and there are, you may have heard rumors that in the Middle East there are visions happening among Muslims. It's true. People have tried to say that's not true. It's true. I've seen it firsthand. There are, there are people coming to the Lord because there's not the gospel being preached much there, but actually visions and they're actually coming to the Lord. Muslims. But that doesn't change the fact that there is something in Islam, in the creed of Islam, that lends itself to rage, to fury, to the sword. And there are things that are not in Islam that might prevent some of those things from taking place. There are many views on the subject, and I have spoken, I've done a message called Islam and the Messiah. But tonight I'm going to show you, we're going to get into a mystery, which is the secret really behind Islam, which is rarely ever spoken. We're going to get to the heart of it, much overlooked, but it explains really the true picture, as nothing else will. To find out how you can receive more of Jonathan's teachings, to receive special free gifts, or get in touch, go to hopeoftheworld.org or call toll-free 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's 1-800-937-4821. You can also get more at Jonathan Kahn's Facebook page or write us direct at Hope of the World, Box 1111, Lodi, New Jersey, 07644, USA.